Okay, now I haven't written it all out. I could write the partial of z with respect to x. It would be f of x plus delta x, y, right? Minus f of x, y over delta x, right? Because what we do here is we hold x constant and we change y. So we see if we're moving in the x direction how fast the value of the function changes, okay? Uh, so if we want the partial with respect to x, we hold y constant. So. y constant take the derivative with respect to x. So the partial with res partial of f with respect to x would be the partial with respect to x then of x squared y cubed, right? We're holding y constant. And actually I should have run should have written this. Okay, derivative of x squared with respect to x, and that's just going to be 2x y cubed. Okay? Yeah. Well, what does this tell us about the function? Okay, well, in the xy plane, we have a point, and let's just say the point is. Two, one. So x is two, y is one. Okay? And here's the point two, one. Here's x, here's y. Okay? Now if we move in the x direction, starting from this point, at what rate is x, uh, uh, I'm sorry, well let, let's, let's start with the y because we've already done that, okay? So we move in the y direction, right? Okay? At what rate is z changing with respect to y? Well, I need more board space, so we're going to kind of restate that and do that with a little more space. 